minute, I know this place. This is the BioBricks registry. Oh, whoa, look at all the cool stuff. Oh, wow. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Synthetic Biology 1. Today, I want to talk about your parts, specifically standard biological parts like the ones you can find in the registry of standard biological parts, also known as the BioBrick registry. What are standard biological parts and why do we need them? Well, a biological part, simply, is just a functional piece of DNA that cannot be split into smaller units. We can combine these parts in different ways to produce new and more complex functions. The BioBrick registry is nothing but a database of these parts. You can find plasmids, promoters, ribosome binding sites, and so on. Any little piece of DNA with a function can be submitted as a part and then searched for and shared. Seems obvious enough. It's just a big old list of DNA sequences. Clearly, we're going to need something like this if we're going to be DNA designers. So, what's the big deal? Well, gather round, everybody, because it's story time. Once upon a time, biology was hard. DNA was difficult to assemble. You had to be an expert to build a new DNA system. And then, when you were done, you didn't try to document your system in a way that was accessible or easy to use. Oh, <laughs> no, no, no. You published your work in a fancy scientific journal where only other experts could read it and try to build on your results. It was a dark and a confusing age. And, in fact, most of biology is still done this way, so I guess that's still the age that we're living in. But, have hope. Other fields used to be the same way. Once upon a time, every light bulb was made by hand and everyone had to be unique. Today, light bulbs are factory made and effectively identical. Thanks in part to this standardization, light bulbs are cheap and easy to produce. It also means that you don't have to be an electrical engineer to install a light bulb, you just screw it into place. Can we achieve this kind of standardized production in biology? Well, the truth is that we're not there yet, but we can take inspiration from other fields that have made the transition. So, what do we need to do? Well, first, standard parts need standard assembly. When I take a promoter and I attach it to an RBS, it has to always be in the same way. That way, it will behave the same way when you do it. Also, it means that we don't need an expert to perform the assembly because we just need to learn one standard procedure. In the registry, they use what's called the BioBrick assembly standard. It isn't the only way to connect two pieces of DNA, but it was the first major attempt to get lots of people building DNA in the same way. Second, standard parts need good documentation. We need all the important information about a DNA sequence in one place so that users can find it. I don't want to read every published paper about a specific piece of DNA uh, when I use it. On the BioBricks registry, you can get everything that you need in one place. Now, a very important word of caution, a lot of the information that you will find on the registry was not posted by experts. It was never peer-reviewed or fact-checked, so you can't believe everything that you read. But in general, the, the good parts, the best parts, are the most popular ones because many users have contributed over the years to improve the documentation. And that brings me to my last point. Standard parts need a community. The power of standard only comes when we all use the same one. That way, your work and my work can fit together. We need many eyes and many hands to generate information, catch bugs, and discover new uses for existing parts. So far, the BioBricks registry is the largest and the most active community in synthetic biology. So, 
What are you waiting for? Go check it out. Many of the ideas from this course have real world examples on the registry. There's tons of just creative and weird and beautiful parts on there for you to discover and maybe you'll be inspired. Okay, that's all for now. But until next time, keep it standard. Thank <laughs> you.